Hi, this is Kim Watson. Welcome to uh, my outlook on cryptos. Now, missed it last week in terms of doing one of these. I do try and catch one every week, but uh, up until well, Wednesday, th th there's been so little happening. It's a bit like uh, doing doing a sort of uh, analysis on a snail race. Uh, but uh, of course, last Wednesday it kicked into action. We saw uh, a sell-off come through on Bitcoin. A number of other currencies taking a hit on that day. And what have they done? Well, uh, up until then, they were doing okay. Um, we actually saw, we'd been seeing price pushing up. Uh, uh, I think it was on the 6th was my last update there, somewhere in that region. Um, the 5th or 6th, the 5th actually. And it was still looking like Bitcoin had some uh, potential. We were looking at the potential for it to push up towards that sort of 6, 7, 50 area on the upside. But then, of course, there was always that cloud that sits below the lows there. And the more you sit around with these markets, and like any market, when it starts coming off and you start running back towards those lows, you just, I mean, this is just like almost like a panic sale. Um, and uh, it, it, it certainly certainly been kicking through last Wednesday there consolidated for a few days but again uh, yesterday and today it's pushing on further down now you've got to look back as there is some more potential you've got to look at when people would have been potentially buying where, where the where the where the moves are in the market here in terms of well if you run right away back to June if these people here are still holding they're still in profit Obviously, I've seen quite a, a change in profit, but uh, they're still in profit and they may still hold. So if you're an investor, you would probably be holding. Um, it, you, you would expect it to be going up. You're investing for a reason. Now, um, they're still in the money. Should they close? Well, that's up to the individual. Where could it come back to? Well, if these investors start thinking, well, actually, I'm almost at break even here. I'm closing. It just creates that. I mean, you, you've seen this this group here potentially capitulate yeah they, they, i mean i'm saying that it, i mean some of these people selling here may have been buying up here but uh you know you're looking at it and thinking well if i got in here i'd have probably sold some off and held some and what am i going to do with the remainder well i'll leave it at sort of break even so you've got to be looking at the break even traders that would have been taken hadn't had taken some nice profits they may be looking now at just sort of closing when it comes down to the price near where they are um and this is again what you may expect when the, the traders from this point now these could be long and gone obviously so as price comes through there uh, there may not be a great reaction to it but anyone that starts pushing through here I mean the next level of support on this is down there at around about three thousand dollars thereafter you start to push back down to the sort of thirteen to fifteen hundred dollar mark so it's um, it's certainly not the forty thousand by Christmas that particular trader uh, trader uh, he probably was not a trader but the guy that wanted to teach people all about uh, trading Bitcoin uh, suggested and all the good reasons why it would go up there as it happens it's not at the moment and as an investor if you're looking to invest in this I think it's it, it could be a good time um, with that, I'm looking at these currencies I'm thinking well. Maybe there's, there's some reasonable times. Not yet. Um, these are still selling off. The wedge here on EOS, uh, there's no point going into the shorter detail on it. It's selling off where to, well, it's put a little bit of head and shoulders in there. That looks <laughs> looks really bearish at the moment. And it's a case of just waiting for uh, some reversals. You don't have to be first into any of these. One of the currency pairings that's holding up better than the others is Ripple. It's not pushed beyond its lows here. But arguably, it's never made the, the great sort of, it did, certainly did some great percentages, but not great price. But it's one of the biggest and could well end up the biggest in terms of capitalization. And it's sitting there quite quite soundly. Yes, it's still down quite a uh, yeah, blip today, but um, it's been holding up a lot, lot better. And it, it's, it depends on what the, the technology is slightly different, a, a different technology, different traders that are doing that, maybe looking at it in a different way. Ethereum, very much like Bitcoin selling off here, uh, maybe not to the same extent, but still, well, it's still a significant percentage down there. And you, you've seen, you, you're sort of looking back here to think, well, these guys would have bought in here, you know, well, who's going to, who, you're really looking back to the sort of $45 mark maybe on Ethereum. So overall, not looking great. Uh, Tron, again, another one which is, is broken all its prior lows there 
and it's that sort of uh, where it's going to who knows it's uh, but it's you know so at some point so as I say some of these may be uh, a reasonable um, investment if you if you for very your if you don't mind high risk and you've got money that you don't mind it's the sort of capital that you don't mind losing so it's a sort of uh, uh, or losing a good amount of but if you start buying at the sort of low around these absolute lows here well you may be not losing too much so uh, there we are there were the risks of losing losses is, is little and you can always build if, if they start coming back up again bit of a doomy one I don't mean it be, to be I appreciate there's a lot of people out there with cryptos and there's a lot of great technology that's been brought to the market by crypto and I think that it's certainly got a future at the moment it's taken a bit of a hammering but there's always a positive um, as I said for those that haven't yet got in that have been sitting waiting there may be opportunities but uh, pick your fight wisely wait until you get proper re reversal signals uh, coming through the markets and then then start uh, looking at your investment there you go have a great one bye for now